G'day. Today we want to have a look at the problem of fitting a filter onto a digital camera. There is a problem with digital cameras when the lens cylinder doesn't have a thread on it to attach a filter onto. For some of the smaller cameras there is a solution for filters of 22mm in diameter that come with a magnetic ring. This magnetic ring can be stuck on top of the lens. The filter itself contains iron and sticks to the magnetic ring. This is a very tight fit. If we look at the lens here, the ring is barely large enough so as not to cover any part of the lens itself but with the filter on top there is no obstruction and no vignetting results. Switch the camera off and the filter remains in place and it can be removed like this. With larger digital cameras such as this with a lens cylinder diameter of 34 millimeters a filter of 22 millimeters would obstruct the lens. The solution to this problem will be to construct a sleeve to fit over the top of the lens into which a filter can be screwed. Another problem with the 22mm filters was that they were only available as UV filters and we wanted to use a polarization filter. So the task we have for today is to construct a sleeve to fit over the lens cylinder with an opening at the other end where a filter can be screwed in. This should fit as tightly as possible over the lens so that it won't fall off. But it will have to be able to slide off when the camera is switched off because the lens retracts completely. And we will be constructing this with a yoga car. That's the beginning material. It has about the right diameter at the base, of about 34 millimeters. Uh, we'll start by cutting off part of the uh, top of the cup so this to give us some room to work with in removing the base. The choice of yogurt cup arose from the problem that there are only certain fixed diameters of PVC piping and the camera requires exactly 34 millimeters. So we had to look around a bit for a suitable size. So first of all we're going to top, cut off part of the top of the cup. Yep, lots of noise and we'll cut it around like this. And uh, that's the part we don't need, so we'll just throw that away. Alright, let's just check that we're going to it's going to fit onto the camera. So, yep, that is what we're looking like. It will fit on fairly exactly. We're going to have to cut off more of the base of this. We need a bit of mechanical strength for the next part of the, um, of the project. Okay, so we'll now get the equipment. So the rest. So we'll need a cutting board. And a yoga cup and a device for cutting, our trusted Swiss army pocket knife, and try to cut in here something out of the bottom of the cup. Yep, there we're through. Let's perforate it a bit more. Alright, so now I'm going to cut around the bottom of the cup without cutting it to the side too much. Cut a bit into the side there. Never mind. Okay, and throw that away as well. And now we have um, a, a hole into which our filter is going to be screwed later, we're going to have to take off a bit more material. Okay, so that's, that's the filter that we're going to be using. Yep. And the filter is going to fit on this end of the sleeve, but as we can see the hole is still too small, so we're going to have to take out the rest of that hole in the next step. 
Now we've got to remove the, this as close as possible to the bottom of the cup. So I can cut in here and then shave off the inner part. Okay, a few more in there. Sort of what it's like on Mythbusters, except nothing's going to blow up. <sighs> ah, so we made a mistake, yeah? Cut through it. Okay. Now that's destroyed it again, so we'll try a third time. Okay, so we'll try a third time. Very carefully cutting along the edge this time. Hold that in the camera so you can see it. Cutting it, try to cut it right along the corner at edge. It's very difficult without trying to slip into the little wall of the cup. There's going to be a tight fit anyway. I'm almost there. Slip it through here. Okay, and now remove this whole bottom of the cup. Okay, now the moment of truth. Now the moment of truth for our lens filter. We've got a filter here, um, just in case anything goes wrong. These are the cheap filters. They cost about two euros fifty each. Um, what I'm going to do now is we can see that. Yep, just holding the cup over the lens here that we're going to have a very, very close fit to the thread itself. All right, and I could try shaving a bit more off the inside of the cup if necessary, but I think we've got enough. So I'm going to fit this on. This is going to take a little bit of force. Yeah. So those of you who don't like blood are going to have to look away now. And it's a bit like fitting a bicycle tire onto the wheel again after you've repaired a puncture. Um, not all parts are going to stick at once. So the hole is still too small for us. I'm going to have to have a look here at what parts can take off. slips off. Ah, I'm getting cramps in your hands as well. We're almost there. Ah. Ah. Okay, and there we have it. Whoa! That was the toughest part. Yeah, now we've got our filter yep, firmly attached to the bottom of the cup. So I'll go in here at a fairly shallow angle, try and take off as much of the rest of the cup as possible, leaving us with a small amount of sleeve. 
it's going to fit on top of the camera. And that's what we have now, is our filter attached to a ring of plastic. Yep, that's going to fit on top of our camera. Let's see about the fit. So here's our camera. And we'll go over the top and there it is. It fits on perfectly well. Alright. Um, and that can hold fairly well. It can be quite easily taken off the camera again. Back on. Okay, if you switch the camera off, it should slide off, as it does. Don't do this in real life, because your filter will fall onto the ground, get dirty. So, that's our filter. Let's see how it works. Okay, so we want to use this setup here to see what the effect of the polarization filter is. We need a good source of polarized light. The computer monitor will do that for us. Um, and then I'm using the camera, as we can see here, to stand up, we've got the polarized filter now on the front of the camera now one hand holding the camera and the other hand adjusting the filter so now adjust the filter to oh and here we see it's working yeah uh, and yeah that's set at 90 degrees and you can see there's virtually no light getting through um, it's about minus 3 EV at that stage. So that's our filter working. You can get the light back again by adjusting it. Well, and there it goes up. There's no vignetting in the corners of the display, so that's our filter. Watch this space for further filter diameters and yogurt brands, and see you around.